Oh my goodness, hey, hi everyone, hi, hi it's me Ari, <laughs> welcome back to, to Hobbit Homes and Gardens, are we still, is Hobbit Homes and Gardens still happening? I thought, I bet you all thought that it was over, and that you'd seen the last of this series, and honestly friends, I wouldn't blame you, I wouldn't blame you one bit if you thought it was over, uh, it's been quite a while since there's been an update, and in fact, uh, this, this is gonna be the last episode, this is, uh, this is a finale. This is, this is, we're gonna say goodbye to Hobbit Homes and Gardens. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why this, this series didn't kind of wound up getting cut short a little bit. For the most part, they pretty much had to do with time. Uh, you know, uh, it, it, it turns out that building stuff, especially when you're not a very good builder like me, it takes a lot of time. And, uh, trying to do a building series for YouTube, you, you basically, it has to be like a full-time job in order to get everything done. And this is not my job. I, I have a job. I have a full-time job. Uh, and I just, I didn't have the time to work on this, and I have all these other projects that I'm also working on, which, uh, wound up taking precedence, and so this, this series kept getting pushed back, and now something has happened, which is that, uh, a new version of Vintage Store has come out. Version 1.15 is out, the homesteading update, which I'm really excited about. And, uh, I'm actually gonna do a new series. It's not gonna be a building series this time. It's gonna be something totally different from what I've done before, and I think it's gonna surprise you, and I think you're gonna enjoy it. But it's gonna be a little while while I make that behind the scenes. It's not gonna be like an episode a week kind of thing. It's gonna be a big a big thing that I do and then I release, uh, probably in, in in a few parts. And I'm not gonna give away any more than that for right now. That's just a little teaser for you. <laughs> just a little teaser for you. Uh, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, the other stuff that I've been working on. In case some of you don't know about it, I'm gonna do that later while I'm building. So uh, right now uh, I just want to get you up to date. Um, so this is the last episode. I'm gonna do one more build today. I'm gonna do blacksmith because that's one thing that we really kind of need. I'm gonna build a little bla blacksmith. I've set aside an area for it and I'm gonna try and do some building. Uh, I got some materials ready and stuff. And, uh, I mean, I've been, I've, I've been gone for a while. I need to reacquaint myself with the controls. I've been playing Minecraft lately, actually. Um, got, got a Minecraft server. A little plug, I got a Minecraft server. One dollar a month, you come and play on it. We're basically running like a almost like a, a TTRPG style sort of campaign with my players where there's events and there's storyline and all kinds of fun stuff happening. Check that out in the link in the description for all those things. Um, and this episode is also, uh, speaking of links in the description, I'm all over the place today, friends. What can I tell you? Uh, there's going to be a world download for this world, for Hobbit Homes and Gardens. Some of you out there are way better builders than me, and I would love to see what you would do with this world, so I'm going to create a world download there will be a link to it uh, down below the video, so if you want to, you can download this world, and you can you can you can finish the Hobbit Village. That would be awesome. If you do that, please make sure that you contact me, um, either on Twitter or on Discord or something, and just show me what you do, because it's oh my gosh, I want to see what you, what you could do with this. What you could do with this. Uh, but anyway, I've, I've been gone for ages. I've been gone for a few months. Log back in, trying to get my bearings, trying to remember the controls are a little bit different than Minecraft. Feels a little bit different. And, uh, guess who I found squatting here, folks? Guess who I found squatting in the village? None other than, than Crumdilf, the racist wizard. Uh, pretty displeased to find him here. He was the last person I wanted to see here. I thought I had chased him off for good. Uh, but this guy, this, this, this freaking guy. I don't look at the camera like in Minecraft. I have to get used to that. This freaking guy, uh, he's, he's, he's so excited to see me. Because he, he's all excited to educate me about a whole bunch of stuff. He said he'd been thinking about our conversation last time where I chased him off for being racist. And, uh, yeah, he said some pretty terrible things, folks. He said some pretty, <laughs> shockingly, I'm sure you're all shocked. Uh, Crumdill said some pretty terrible things uh, about trans people. Uh, apparently not knowing, not knowing much about me over here uh, uh, and how new this beard is. Um, he said some terrible stuff about Asian people. Uh, f f f fantasy Asian people. It, we'll go with it. Um, he, you know, he, he was saying stuff about about the Olympics and about uh, testosterone and female athletes, which is all a bunch of, of made up nonsense, uh, and about trans kids shouldn't be able to play. It just so many terrible things. Um, and I made the mistake at first of thinking maybe if I just let him say what he wants to say, then he'll leave, and I won't have to deal with. That. I wanted to deal with the confrontation. I'm tired. I'm so tired of confronting people like this. You know, it just wears you out after a while. Um, but he just wouldn't stop, and it just got worse and worse. So finally I chased him off with a stick, um, and, uh, on the way out, he dropped his hat. So, it's my hat now. <laughs> I have Crumdill the Wizard's hat. Um, I believe this is where he gets all his magical powers, so as far as I know, that should be it. Crumdill shouldn't be able to, to do any more mischief anymore. 
And I'm pretty pleased with that. So hooray, Crumdolf the Wizard is gone forever. Uh, night is falling. I'm gonna take a nap. And then we'll do a tour of what's going on here since the last time you saw this place. Ooh, I woke up, I woke up. I went to bed too early and I woke up too early, folks. It's, uh, it's like 4.30 in the morning here. And I need to make some breakfast. So we'll, we'll, I gotta remember where I put everything. Oh my goodness gracious, I, I had some firewood here. It's over here now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Getting re getting reoriented, getting reacquainted. It's very important that I do so, actually. It's very important that I get reacquainted. Where's the torch? I had a torch here. I had a torch here somewhere to use for cooking. I guess it's probably, probably this. Uh, I'm not, I don't remember exactly where I left off uh, in the last episode. I didn't go back and watch it. I'm sorry. I, I, when I talk about about time, I'm not, I'm not joking. I've got, I've got so much stuff I'm trying to do. A lot of it's really good, though. Be excited. Be excited about these new things. Uh, we never got any any milk from the sheep. Uh, we still only have the first generation. The second generation is one lamb, which we don't even know if it's male or female. You need to breed them to the second generation, I think. So we would have to have this one's babies before we could reliably milk them. It may even be the third generation. It just takes so long, folks. It takes. I need to like go into like a creative world or something, see exactly how long it takes. I don't understand why it takes so long. Why, why they gotta make it so difficult. I don't remember why there's bones here. Um, I, I don't... I guess probably there was a wolf or something. Um, there's a drifter over there. Nope. A sword. We'll just take care of this. Excuse me. Very rude of you to be here. Very rude. Okay. Uh, how's my, how's my food doing? How's my food doing? Oh, goodness. It's gonna take ages. Some more wood on there. Um, I, I put so much effort into like getting materials and getting everything set up, and it turns out that I, I have to kind of leave this world. So as the sun's coming up, uh, all this stuff right here needs to be moved, and down here is where the entrance to the blacksmith is going to be. And I've already carved out a little bit. It goes all the way through to the back here, out here, and uh, there's a little tunnel that goes through here. And then this comes into the main part of the house. So eventually this is going to be... Basically the whole hill was going to be carved out. With different rooms in it and such. What are we doing? We almost got food. Get in there. Takes a while because I'm making a lot of it at one time. Now that the sun is coming up. So I think over here everything is pretty much the same. We've got our, our sheep. We've got our sheep. Uh, we've got our bees over here and our berry bushes. I'm making some leather. And yeah. These are actually... There's, there's leather in this one, still still soaking. I'm just gonna have my first bits of leather to make things like armor and, and backpacks and stuff like that. Uh, we've got beehives that are harvested a couple of times. We've got uh, the chickens. <laughs> of course, they're hard to see because they all group together, but they, we've, we've got a second generation of chickens over here. They breed faster than the sheep, it seems, which I suppose makes makes sense, kind of. We've got the farms over here still. There's tons of, tons of guys down here, tons of dudes uh, down in the trenches. And I don't think I have any crops planted right now. I do not appear to, no. Okay. There's there's eggs down here, because there's chickens down there as well. It's it's just chaos in this place. Absolute chaos. Um, how do I run in Vintage Story? There we go. <laughs> oh, it's been a while, my friends. This, this has got to be finished. It's still not finished? Come on. It's almost there. I'm, so, I'm hungry. I need my breakfast. There we go. Delicious stew. Okay, so I think the main thing that has changed is... Excuse me! I just told your friend to leave. It's morning. Aren't you supposed to be out of here? You're not supposed to... I'm not even going to worry about getting hit. Okay. So, uh, basically, I think the main thing that I did since last time is just cleared out the inside and got this set up. So we got the corn in here. It's not doing anything right now. That's all hooked up all the way at the top. And there's just some storage. This is all empty. And there's some more doors over on this side. And I just did the little hobbit hobbit doors, the little circular doors with the, the chisel, which I think looks quite nice. I had planned on doing a lot of chiseled stuff in this building series. But chiseling takes even longer than regular building, and I'm so slow even at regular building, folks. I don't think it was ever really going to happen. Alright, um, so, I think that's kind of all the changes. You've seen the interior already. That hooks around. Um... All the storage is, is nice and sorted out. And down here, we need to make a little blacksmithing area. So I'm going to get to work. 
and we'll do a little time lapse. And during the time lapse, I'm going to tell you about some of the other exciting stuff that I'm working on. So what are these uh, these big projects that I've been working on? These big things that are distracting me from Vintage Story. Uh, while I uh, while I build the the new forge here. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about them. So first of all, there's my vanilla Minecraft server, my new vanilla uh, 1.17 Minecraft server, which is a patron server, open to all patrons, it's just a dollar a month, and uh, patrons even get to bring a buddy with them, so you can have more people on the server to play. And I'm basically running sort of like an RPG campaign on the server, uh, putting a ton of work into it, and it's been a lot of fun so far. The, the first part involved uh, using maps to find books full of riddles and then solving the riddles to get coordinates and the coordinates led to a like a cultist temple which was hiding an enormous underground jungle and the the second event is in progress right now where the players are tasked with building shrines using specific blocks and they've been promised rewards if they do a good job and punishment if they refuse so that's uh, uh, taking up a lot of my time but in a really wonderful way I'm having a great time with it would love to have more people in there uh, so check out check out the Patreon link in the description if you can, uh, and get involved because it's it's a, it's an absolute blast. Uh, the second thing that I'm spending most of my time on is Minecraft escape rooms. I I've been building escape rooms. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. I actually want to make escape room games, but I don't have the expertise to make graphics and to do all the programming and stuff. But I am figuring out how to do it in Minecraft, where the graphics are all sorted out and I can just use command blocks, which is sort of a much simpler method of programming than trying to make a game from scratch. The first escape room is called the Cryo Lab, and that's out now on Planet Minecraft. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. I'm working on the second one. The first one was a bit of a learning experience. It's fairly short, uh, but I learned a lot about how to use command blocks in certain ways, and I uh, had fun designing the puzzles and stuff. It's been received pretty favorably. Check it out. It only takes uh, between one and two hours for most people. Some, some people even less. Depends on how, how much you like doing puzzles. And yeah, the second one is much bigger in scope. It is enormous, it is ambitious, and it's going really well. I probably have, I'm guessing, another couple of months of work before it's done. It's a really big project that I'm doing all by myself. But I think people will enjoy that when it comes out. So that's that's the other kind of major draw on my time. Aside from, you know, real life and my day job and stuff, which unfortunately I still have to do. The last thing that's taking up a lot of my time is uh, preparing for my next Vintage Story series. I've been planning out a lot of stuff. It's going to be a big project. It's mostly still kind of hush-hush. Uh, you will have a bit of a wait before the first part of that comes out because there's going to be a lot of stuff that has to be done before I can actually make the videos. But I think you're really going to enjoy it, and I'm really excited about that. So keep your eyes open. Don't give up on me. I promise I'm still working real, real hard on all kinds of stuff. Uh, it just, I, just, I just don't have time to do a lot of building. And anyway, I think we can all agree I'm not the greatest builder anyway, so maybe that's not the worst thing in the world. There we go. We're going to need a uh, torch holder in here. In fact, I may even take the one from over here, because it's probably going to be more useful over there anyway. This is the only torch holder I've got at the moment. going to have to go out and look for some more. I don't have the uh, materials to make a new one yet. But, here we go. Uh, it's very simple, it's very bare bones so far. But we've got our three fire pits for uh, smelting purposes. We've got all our molds in the racks. We've got... Uh, bits and bits and bobs there. We've got all our, our uh, fuel and our ore over here And then outside I've got this nice area slightly fenced off for the anvil and the forge We can, we can come up this way up to the front uh, Which is nice and cleared out now much much more spacious really like that. This is still here this uh, matter of fact I'm some of my porridge my, my blueberry and blueberry and something Blueberry and spell porridge, delicious. But yeah, this this little cooking oven <laughs> probably needs to be taken down, and a kitchen needs to be built somewhere inside so that we're not out here doing everything. But for now, the cooking can actually be done in here, really. You can probably move stuff in this way if I were to keep playing. Uh, right now, smelting up some copper so that I can make a lantern to light up the outside area here, since it is now uh, pretty dark out here at night. And we, we can look out over the rest of the land. Now down here, I was planning on having some gardens, uh, moving the farms and the animals down this way. And then around the back here, which I have not decorated the back, um, but this is going to be kind of more of the same. Uh, farm fields, animals, and uh, in, the, in, the, in the hills around there, some other little buildings. Like this one right here would be like a little storage building, the grass over the top. Uh, lessons that I've learned... Oh, goodness, we've got to just... There we go. 
uh, and learn, learn, learn a lot of lessons during this series. Uh, I would like to do a lot more detailing in here and put a lot of, of, of decorations and stuff, but the fact of the matter is, I'm out of time. I'm out of time. I gotta get this video finished, and I've gotta get it edited, and I gotta get it out, and um, I gotta get started on my next one. So, as I said before, there is going to be a world download for this world. Come on. I'll oh, come all oh, good. I was gonna have to put more fuel in there. Um, so if you want to get in here and finish it, oh my goodness, please do, and please share with me what you build. I really want to see it, because I think there's a potential for a really nice little village right here, and I, I just ran out of time. Uh, so what I'm doing with these last two copper ingots that are being made now is I'm going to make that lantern to go out here. It's going to be the last sort of practical thing to do, and I also wanted to... Uh, we've got this hallway leading from the forge into the rest of the house, and it's very barren. It's very bare, it's very boring. Um, it's just, it's just, we got just the, the pine walls, birch floor on the oak ceiling, and nothing else. So I thought maybe one last little, one last little chisel thing. I'll get some full pine, pine, uh, uh planks. Got at least two? Oh, I've got four of them. Look at that, it's perfect. We'll chisel them up, and we're gonna put just a little sort of, uh, uh-oh, behind the scene. Oh no, look at the mess back here. Look at this. I, made, I used the slabs to save materials. Uh, and because there's no reason not to, really. So if I take the chisel here, and I need to choose some materials, maybe some birch. Oh, actually, maybe some stone would be best. I might even go and quarry out a little bit of chalk so I get some white. And we'll do like a no place like home sort of uh, decoration to hang up there. And that will be our, our final goodbye. So I'm going to go out and quarry some chalk. Tell you what, anyone working on this map, make a maybe make a proper staircase down into the mines. It's a real pain getting out of here. <laughs> I got my my four uh, chalk rocks, which I think should be enough. And I'll see what other materials we've got to work with here. So, in case anyone uh, has has been wondering and is not actually sure how to do this, the way you make multi-material blocks, you put down all the blocks you want to use, right-click them with the chisel. Which turns them into chiselable blocks. This even works with the, the chiseled stone. Once it's turned into a chiselable block, you can pick it back up normally and it won't lose its shape because it's no longer considered stone, it's considered a, a chisel block or a sculpture. Then you use a pick, yes, even on the wood. Again, it's just considered a sculpture now. And uh, then in your inventory, you take the, the block that you want it to look like. So we're gonna start with the, uh, with the, the pine here. And then you put the other block that you want available in there. And then you take those out, and then you do the same thing with the next block you want. And what you'll see happens here... I haven't planned this in advance, by the way. I'm sure nothing will go wrong, right? Uh, if you hold the chisel, and you go over these blocks, and you press F, you can see you now have three different materials to choose from. So, let's choose the, the, the chalk. I'm actually realizing that the bauxite is maybe a little bit too similar to the, uh, the pine. But let's chisel out a nice frame. But uh, the chisel has a lot of, of, of power to do a lot of really cool things. Now you're going to have to select the chalk on each of these four blocks here, right? Otherwise, it'll change materials when you go from one block down. See, it didn't successfully choose the chalk here. There we go. Make a nice white frame. And then I think I might strip away all this pine here and set a, uh, a background. And maybe just fill the whole thing with the chalk. Now there's one thing that I do wish the chisel uh, would let me do, which is to just strip an entire surface. As you can see, you have to take out one chunk at a time. And if you only want to strip like a single voxel off, it takes forever. So right now I'm doing two by two, but if I were to do, say, one by one, it takes twice as long, you see that? It takes ages. So, it could be improved, is all I'm saying. Could be a little bit better. I'm gonna have to fill these back in. And there we go. Okay, now I'll switch to the bauxite. Again, I haven't planned this in advance. Oh goodness, nope. Maybe I should have. Probably, because this is this is not even close to gonna fit, right? Let 
No place like home. <laughs> hey, it works. Fill that in with red. It's not the most beautiful thing that's ever been made. But I made it. And I'm proud of it. I think it looks alright. At least it's a little bit of decoration to liven up this very bland hallway. I would like to have some other materials. Actually, just in general, if we look at the uh, the the smithy area, the forge area, um, I didn't have a lot of materials available. And this being the last episode and me being short on time, I just really didn't have the the time to go and get more materials. I really would have liked to put some uh, some darker stones in there. Maybe go out and find some andesite, get a little bit of blue in there. Um, and such materials are certainly available in the world, but uh, it's nighttime. I should I should go take a sleep. It's, it's not even that late. It's only 5:30. Goodness gracious! This needs a little frame though. This needs a little frame, which means. Which means I gotta take it down. And we gotta add one more material into here. And give it a little frame. Uh, I'm gonna use maybe some birch. Goes there. There. Let's see it in my hand. There we are. And now... Uh, do like a nice little... This, this might be too much work. But I'm gonna try and do it anyway. See how that actually looks. We've got birch now. Oh yeah, I think that looks nice. Another thing the chisel tool could really do with is just like a fill, <laughs> fill command. I know it's not realistic, but oh man, is it tedious when you're trying to do little details like this. I've seen there's there's images uh, around on the the vintage story forums and also um, just the the images at the startup screen when you start the game. Um, people have done some really incredible stuff with the with the chisel, and I, 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 my goal was to try to do more of that kind of stuff in this in this series. But as we've established, it just it just uh, it wasn't gonna happen. I just don't have the time. Don't have the time. You want me to have the time to do a building series? Dang it! Uh, sign up for my Patreon. <laughs> if I could quit my job, then I could do it, and I would happily do so. But right now, I am not even close to that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a nap, and we'll go make that lantern. Excuse me. I'm trying to have my breakfast. The rudeness of these people. Anyway, you stay down there. Excuse me, you stay down there. Um, let's take our copper ingots. Let's take a bit of charcoal. Ah, goodness gracious, my mouse accuracy is absolutely atrocious. It seems to be getting worse instead of better, and I'm not sure why that is or what to do about it. Somebody help me, please. Um, this is our, our last project. This is our last project. Uh, one last lantern. I wanted to make a Malib the Chalkus lantern, but I don't have uh, enough lead, as it turns out. It's just not enough. I only have 19 Galena nuggets, and uh, you need 18, I believe, for one one ingot. You need two ingots for a lantern, so that's just that's just the way it worked out this time. Uh, we'll enjoy our, our final day here in the the Hobbit. Get out of here! Get out of shoe! Get away from my mill! That's my. That's not your mill. You didn't build that. It's mine. Ugh, unbelievable. Um, our last project here, our last day. Uh, it has it has been uh. An interesting process. I have learned a lot. I've learned that I, I don't have the time to do building projects and stuff. I've learned that when you're gonna do a Hobbit Village, you should probably turn the sideways gravity off for dirt because that just makes it a lot more work, and uh, you wind up having to basically rebuild the entire hill every time because once you dig out the inside, all the dirt falls down, and you have to replace it anyway. Um, so yeah, there's there's one one little one little baby lesson that I learned. Um, I also I learned a bit about the the chisel. Not as much as I would have liked to, but a bit. Uh, I wasn't able to get the diversity of materials I would have liked, as I said, for, for this forge area, but I still think it turned out alright. It's a little plain, a little bare bones, but it's a good start. It's a good start for anyone who wants to come in here and finish it off for me. I would absolutely love to see 
what you beautiful, wonderful people would do with this. Uh, oh, I forgot how tedious it is. I forgot how tedious it is. You <laughs> sent this. A lot of things about this game are kind of tedious. That's just a fact. That's just a fact of Vintage Story. Uh, they go for realism, except where being realistic would be easier, and then they go for 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 gaminess. That's that's a is a hot take for me right here. Uh, if you're gonna go for realism, great, but that means that when the realistic way is easier, you just gotta let it be easier. The devs the devs of this game don't like things to be easy. They want things to be hard. But we do have a lot of control. We have a lot of control over the options of the game and stuff like that. So I can't complain too much. Although I I am obviously I'm still playing it, right? Can't be that bad. Uh, Vintage Story is a good game. It is a lot of fun. And uh, I'm really excited about the next project I have coming up. I've been trying to keep it kind of hush-hush. I want it to be a surprise. Uh, partly just because surprises are fun. Partly, you know, in case it doesn't go as well as I hope it will. Um, I think it will, though. I think it's going to work out pretty well. And I'm excited about it. I can't wait. I can't wait for you all to see it when I finally manage to get it done. It is going to take a while. Uh, it's going to be, as I said, it's going to be something very different from what I've done before. Part of that is going to be is going to be sort of uh, time-lapsey, in the sense that I'm going to be doing a long period of time recording it and uh, then putting out uh, one longer video, rather than uh, doing the sort of weekly or bi-weekly updates the way I've done in the past. So it's a big endeavor. It's going to take a lot of time. But I am committed to getting it done, and it's it's going to take a lot of time in a way that it'll be a while before you see a video. But uh, I'm not. It's not going to be a building series, so the actual gameplay stuff is going to be. Is it right click? It's right click. Oh, I've been trying to remember and figure that out for ages. It's right click, folks. It's a right click to uh, to rotate the item. Useful thing to know, and it's not, it's not on the, uh, you, you, they've got all this text that pops up, and none of it tells you how to rotate the item. Slight oversight, if, if, uh, if I do say so. Almost done here. Uh, so yeah, so you won't see any more Vintage Story from me for a while, but I do want you to rest assured that I am working on it in the background. And that it will be done as soon as I'm able to do it. And I think you're going to be very pleased with uh, with the results, and it's going to be worth the wait. So, there we go. I should have put some water over here for me to toss this into. And I didn't do that. I didn't. I don't have <laughs> any water. I was run down. I was run down to the pond. <laughs> I think I still have some wax and or some candles that I can use for this. There we go. Now, there's uh, still a baby. Still a baby. I have no idea how long it takes. If anyone knows how long it takes for a baby sheep to grow up, please let me know. Leave a comment and let me know. Because oh, I, need, I need other materials. I need candle, candle, or wax. Actually, wax, wax will be done here. Doing this or making this happen. Yeah, there we go. Three. Do I have a honey bucket in here? I don't. Do I have a honey bucket up here? I must. Honey. Yes. We squeeze the honey. This is how you make candles. Candle. And then I need two clear quartz. I'm pretty sure I've got. Yes. Okay. Quartz. Candle. Copper. Lantern. Brilliant. Our final piece of the build, our final decoration. Just gonna put that right there. Beautiful, wonderful. Um, oh my goodness, it's been su it's been such a journey here. <laughs> Thank you all so much for bearing with me and for hanging out with me. And I've got a lot of really lovely comments on the videos in this series. Thank you so much for those. I really do appreciate them. I try to respond to them all. I certainly read them all. Um, love y'all to death. If you are able to, uh, to, let me just, uh, there we go. Get my, get my, get my elbow up on, uh, the brim of crumb dills. 
the racist wizard's hat here. No racists allowed here. No bigots. Get out of here if you're a bigot. Go away. We don't want you here. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for hanging out. Uh, check out my other my other projects, which I, I talked about during the time lapse there. And, you know, if you could support my Patreon, I would love to have you on my Venture Story server. Absolutely love, love to have you on there. If you can't, you know, I understand. Time, time's tough for a lot of us. Uh, but if, if you can't afford to support me financially, I'll tell you what, if you share my videos with somebody, even if you think, oh, I don't have that many followers or social media or whatever, just just share it, even if you just get one one or two more people to just take a look. Sorry, it's jumpy. It's, it's so jumpy here. It's, it's the chest. Um, it, it actually makes a difference. This is really the only way I have to advertise myself is word of mouth, so um, that would be helpful. Thank you. And for the last time from, 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 from a Hobbit village, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!